Hi everybody, my name is Chris, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to show you another design tutorial in InDesign and this time I'm going to focus on how to create a gradient in InDesign. Um, I'm just going to skip through all of the, uh, the formalities and say that you've already set up your document, you've got your settings as you like them and you just want to know how the gradient is made, so here we go. I'm just going to make a quick rectangle. I'm going to focus on the colour. So I'm just going to bring up, let's say we want a nice turquoise green. Let's hit OK. There we go. There's your basic shape. How on earth do I turn this into a colour, well, how do I turn this into a shape that has a colour gradient? I'm going to show you what you do is you highlight. And if you go to colour, if you don't know where that is, you can always go to window and find your colour, click colour and your panel will come up here. I'm going to add that to my swatches. So then as we go to our swatches panel, you can see my nice turquoise green is sitting in my swatch library. Again, if you don't know where your swatches are, just hit window, colour, swatches and you'll go to your swatches panel, right? So in my swatches panel, I want to create a new gradient swatch. So if I hit new gradient swatch, there we go, you can see the options come up. I'm just gonna call this super green, why not? Type linear, let's stick with the linear for now and I can show you radial in a second. Now, see this, slider on the bottom is where it is all at. You want to click on one of the little anchors on the bottom there. If I click that, you'll see that the colour panel then fills up. Now there's a few ways you can create your colours. Um, I'm just going to go to what, the swatch that I already made. Boom, there's my lovely green. And you'll see that now this little anchor has turned to that lovely green. Then what you want to do to create the other side of the gradient is to click the other anchor here on the other side of the slider and let's just say I wanted it to be a nice green that's already there. There we go, let's use that in the swatch panel. In fact, let's go crazy and use the red. You see that the red is now fixed on this anchor on the right and you can also change the location of where you want the intensity of the gradient to be. So if you want a bang in the middle, so it's a nice slow gradient, just put it in the middle. If you want it to maybe just zoom into the red right at the end, just move the slider, the little diamond at the top near the end. Let's go with 87. Okay, and there you go. You see your gradient. Your gradient, your gradient has been created. There we go. Now, if I go back and say you wanted to add the radial one, there's two ways you can do this. I could go into new gradient swatch and do exactly what I've just showed you. Or if I wanted to edit this gradient that I've just made, let's highlight, make sure the, the shape is highlighted, and then simply double click in the library in that swatch that you've just created and you've got your super green that's just came up. Let's change it a little bit. Let's go back to the middle. Let's hit 50 so it's bang on. Change it to your radial. And then hit OK. There we go. You'll see it's then gone into a radial gradient. And that is as simple as it is to make your gradients. But if you have any questions, any queries, um, drop me a line on at Salt Angel Blue on Twitter, um, and I hope that helped. Cheers, guys.